Hi everyone, this is Kayla and we're here today for another social media marketing video. Today we'll be talking about Facebook as a tool to promote your show. Specifically through creating a Facebook page and joining Facebook groups like the ones for BFR and SMC. Facebook pages are an awesome hub for all information about your show. Melissa and I previously made videos on Instagram and Instagram stories to promote your content and coupling this with Facebook is an easy way to increase your audience reach. As we've mentioned, what is nice about Facebook is that you can connect it directly to your Instagram profile in order to post things simultaneously. However, there are a few features about Facebook that make it distinct from Instagram, and they are features I think are extremely important for promotion and relaying information. The two main features are, one, Facebook allows you to make events. Maybe your show is going to hold an in-person or virtual event and you can essentially make a page for it on Facebook through which you can invite Facebook friends and they can RSVP. The Facebook event will show up as a post on your page to notify users that liked your page. Second, joining Facebook groups will allow you to share your posts on those pages and increase the reach of your posts in the hopes more people will go and like your page. First thing, in order to make a page, you must be logged into your personal Facebook account. The way Facebook pages function is that users must manage the page. When you're at the home page, the first thing you want to do is go to the bottom bar and click on pages, which looks like a flag icon. Once you're there, you can press create new page in the top right. Press get started and it will ask for a category. Type in podcast or radio show. Here I'll do podcast. For title, I'll make it Femme Vitales to keep with prior examples. Then it will ask for a website link. If you have one, you can copy and paste the link here. I don't, so I'll skip that for now. You can also always fill it in later. And finally, the profile picture and cover photo. You can make them the same image, but it's a good idea to make them different for variation. For the profile picture, I'll use my logo, and for the cover photo, it might be a good idea to have a photo of you recording in the studio or other related content about your podcast or behind the scenes footage from any of your shoots. This is not an ideal picture, but I'll use the behind the scenes photo from the Instagram video even though it's not accurate. After you press save, it will take you to the main page, and you can further add in information by scrolling through the top list of buttons and clicking on more. From there, you'll scroll down to Page Controls and select Edit Page, then Page Info. Here you can go back and add in your website if you didn't before. You can also do the BFR's website or podcast network if that works. The others such as Location Info, Business Hours, Phone Number, WhatsApp, and Button are all optional, but you can put them in if you please. The website is definitely the most important one. The page button is useful, however, if you want to put in something where people could request to be featured on your show or just generally get in contact with you, put a phone number or email. Now though, you'll want to click on description and make one for your page. I will type in something similar to that in my Instagram profile. Tune in to learn about our Femme of the Week and for exclusive interviews with local artists and touring acts. Check us out wherever you get your podcasts. Finally, you'll want to invite people to like the page. To do this, you'll want to exit Update Page Info and Exit Edit Page. Once you get back, you can scroll down and click the Invite Friends button. Here you can start picking your Facebook friends and inviting them to follow your page. Since that's done, you can make your first post. I made a post that is identical to the first post on my Instagram page. I also tagged BFR so that their followers can learn about the new show. Okay, now that the post is up, you want to invite your Facebook friends so that you can get some likes, i.e. followers to your page. That's pretty much it for setup, and play around with different tabs to personalize your page. The last thing I will do is show you how to create an event if you ever happen to put on an event for your podcast. My hypothetical event will be a concert featuring a local artist. For these purposes, I will just pretend that the performer is me so I don't tag anyone in there confused. You can click on the events tab on your page and click create new event. Click online or in person. I'll do virtual. From here you can name it, set a date and time and location. Since it's virtual you should put in a zoom link or other form of live virtual format. You can add in a description with something like join Femme Fatales for a performance with budding local artist Kayla Avitable for some new songs and a chat about her upcoming projects and releases. This is basic, but feel free to elaborate more depending on the event. 
The last item is a category in which we'll choose music. Now that your event is created, you can invite friends, make posts in the event page about any updates leading up to it, and finally post it to groups to gain further reach. We'll talk about groups now. Facebook groups are a great way to promote conversations with your listeners and for them to speak amongst themselves. Whoever creates the account will become an admin, so we recommend you use your show's profile for this. To create a group, you'll want to go onto the Facebook app and click on the group's icon. This should be the center icon on the bottom of the screen. It has three people in it. Once you've done this, you'll find a button with a plus at the top of the screen. You want to click this and select the bottom of the two pop-ups that says create a group. Now, you'll need to enter a group name. You'll likely want to name your group after your show. It's acronym if it has one, or if you actually have a name for your listeners, you can use that. At least include it. For mine, I'll be calling it Femme Fatale's Fame. Now you want to choose a privacy setting. For private groups, you as an administrator have to approve anyone let into the group, and for a public group, anyone can join at any time. Both options have their pitfalls, but a private group will ensure that random people don't say inappropriate things in the group or spam it. Once you've made your selection, you can go ahead and press the Create Group button. From here, an Invite Friends page will appear. You can invite any of your Facebook friends to the Join the Group now by simply clicking the Invite button next to their names. After you've finished inviting people, you can set the cover photo. This will likely be a photograph of your DJs, hosts, podcasters, or perhaps a graphic for your show. You can even make one special for the group if you want. You can also skip this section for now and come back to it later by clicking the next button. Next, Facebook will prompt you to create a description for your group. This should let everyone know what your show is and what types of conversations they can expect to participate in through the, through the group. For example, Femme Fatales is a podcast dedicated to uplifting female artists. When you've completed this, you can choose to make your first post, perhaps an announcement for the next show or a welcome or just move forward. Once you've done all this, your group is set up. If you want to make your personal profile and your teammates administrators, you'll just need to click on their icon in the members category and press the second button on the top pop-up that says make, insert name, and admin. Conveniently in this section as well, you are able to make people moderators. Remove them from the group, block them from your account, or just mute or turn on their posting capabilities. Also, the difference between a moderator and an administrator, if you're curious, is administrators have three additional privileges. They can make other members admins or moderators, remove admin or moderators, and manage group settings, including changing the group name, photos, and so on. Now you've made your group. You can make posts as if you were posting to your account or for updates on the show. Create conversation starters to get the community active, share events, photos, or episodes. The possibilities are endless. Thank you so much for watching this video. We hope it was helpful and that we can start some BFR groups and pages popping up soon.